Morning, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Big, big day today. We're talking to some sectional champions. It's the Fairfield Mules Volleyball Squad. Uh, Chet Snyder is here, the coach, as well as a couple of players. And we are going to be talking to these uh, ladies and Chet throughout the morning. Should be a good time. Uh, I guess, you know, you're not the champions anymore, are you? Or are you just, are you still the champions until well, until the, this year for defending sectional champions you're defending sectional yeah. champions okay so. well i don't want to I, I didn't want to put you off already at the start jet right right no <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you're watching us here on uh, on Wabash Catch TV over in Salem on Channel 3. Here in Flora, Channel 100 or Channel 25. Same story up in Louisville, down in Sisney, Jeff, uh, Fairfield, north part of Fairfield there. Uh, Edwards County, we're over in Albion and Browns and uh, West Salem, and we do appreciate you tuning in each and every day. What is going on around the area? What is uh, some th What are some things you can look at? Look forward to in the way of community events well not a ton going on we're kind of in the middle of uh, the uh, oh, the doldrums of summer as they say dog days of summer but a lot of vacation Bible school still going on as uh, in Salem at the Salem First Baptist Church it's in the wild VBS and uh, that runs all this week from six o'clock to uh, 8 30 and uh, they are doing that that uh, is uh, actually uh, it's for children age three uh, to sixth grade music crafts games bible lessons and snacks that's at the salem first baptist church and uh, you can uh, kids can register at salemfbc.org another uh, another one going on over there in salem and uh, this one kind of helps uh, the high school kids as well as they can get ipad hours what is iPad? What are iPad hours? Do you know? I have no idea. I think that must be some kind of, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what that. Uh, I'm, I'll have to ask them, won't I? I don't have an iPad. So I, don't <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's about an iPad. But I don't know. Uh, at the Salem Presbyterian Church, it's open to children ages 3 to 13. They'll have all kinds of stuff about Bible stories. Wear clothes that can get wet. And bring a towel as well because they're going to have water games on some days. And again, high school kids can pick up some extra community service hours, I believe, is what iPad hours are. There's going to be a big blood drive today. This is in Fairfield, and it's from 1130 until 530 this afternoon. It's at the Family Life Center, the Community of Christ Church located. That's down on the corner of Windsor Lane and Leniger Road. If uh, you have any questions, you can give them a call at 8100. 1-800-GIVE-LIFE. The easiest thing to do, and I've already done it today. I've already registered. I'm going to be donating blood down there today. You go to redcrossblood.org and you can find uh, the, the, the drive and then you can sign in and uh, get the, your rapid pass. That'll get you out of uh, about a half an hour or 20 minutes of waiting. And it's just the easiest thing in the world. You want to do that in advance. And uh, again, I will be donating blood. So tomorrow, chat folks will see a uh, much smaller version of me as I lose a, about a pint or two. I need to donate weekly then. I <laughs> Join the club. I, I they were not, they're not letting me do it often no. enough. That's right. Uh, also today, it's uh, Dave Dillon and friends. They're going to be at the Heritage Woods. That's at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Country music at Heritage Woods here in Florida. That'll be a good time. Uh, this is uh, July 17th. As uh, This is National Tattoo Day. Ooh. I uh, I got to ask of you, do you celebrate National Tattoo Day? I do not. Do you I'm, have a tattoo? I do not. You and I, I think are the only adult adult people without tattoos, mm -hmm. it seems like. We, we are of a certain age mm -hmm. where you do not get tattoos, right? Oh, my son has a ginormous one, and my wife wants one. But really? I, I have no desire to. I don't know if it is the fat person syndrome. I think it would that's spread it out. Thing. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing, Chet. If you lose the weight, what's the tattoo going to look like? I mean, right, right now, <laughs> we've got a nice canvas. Right. <laughs> 
and, and, and you brought up the fat person syndrome. If we, if you're know, always thinking about losing the weight eventually, and yeah, maybe one of these days. Uh, that's right. And if if you did lose the weight, what's the tattoo going to look like? You don't want to mess up the shape, like exactly. the the people who got the uh, Stanley Cup. And the arch or something, mm-hmm. but just think if they lose weight, that arch is going to like be squeezed <laughs> in, and and the, I don't know. It's, it's uh, but it is National Tattoo Day. This is also National Lottery Day, as uh, they first. Uh, this was established by the the first state lottery established in Massachusetts back in 1972, and folks have been doing that uh, all the time. So I think it's. This is Wednesday, so I believe it's Mega Millions night. National Lottery Day, some folks might have some specials going on. You never know, special giveaways. What's on television? What do you want to watch on TV? Well, in Major League Baseball tonight, there are four games you can watch here on Wabash this evening. The Pittsburgh Pirates are in the St. Louis Cardinals this afternoon, actually. That's at 1245, and that's on Fox Sports Midwest, Channel 630. Chris Archer taking the mound for the Pirates, he's going to go against Daniel Ponce de Lo- Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. You know that's the thing with with Ponce de Leon. Sometimes it's Ponce, sometimes it's Ponce. You never know with day with this guy. Ponce de Leon wasn't he an explorer? That's exactly that's, right. Yeah. He searched for the Fountain, Fountain of, of Youth. Youth. Never found it. Died Dang in Florida, it. the Dang. malaria or something like that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah, looking for the fountain of youth. But uh, it's the Pittsburgh Pirates at St. Louis Cardinals this afternoon. The Reds play the Cubs also this afternoon. That's at 120. And that'll be uh, Sonny Gray versus Hugh Darvish. That is on NBC Sports Chicago. That's Channel 643. Also, the Tampa Bay Rays will be in New York tonight playing the Yankees. That's on ESPN Channel 601. Yanni Chirinos. Yanni Chirinos for the Rays versus Domingo German. Domingo Herman, actually, is what that is for the New York Yankees. And uh, finally, the Chicago White Sox. By the way, that's ESPN Channel 601. The White Sox will be on NBC Sports Chicago Channel 643. That's tonight at 715. My name is Bruce Dickey. My guest today, it's Chet Snyder and Fairfield Volleyball. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to Chet about the last year as well as the upcoming season. And we'll do all that when we return. You're watching Big Talk. With Bruce Decky right here on Wabash Catch TV. Back after these. Stick around. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post construction, with the strongest non pro rated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are 
a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, I'm Brian. You probably know someone who's had a heart attack, COPD, or a heart bypass operation. You might even know someone who's had a heart transplant, lung cancer, or part of their lung removed. But what about someone who's had all six? Now you do. My tip is, if smoking doesn't get you one way, it'll get you another. More to folks, welcome back. Big talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Thank you so much to uh, for joining us here today, as we are basically starting on our trip through the uh, through the sports that we're covering. We've got Chet here starting things out pretty soon. Actually, uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, Brian Tackett. He's the uh, football coach from Flora. Uh, week after next, we're going to have uh, Justin Townsend on. I think I've got Kevin Green coming on uh, week after next. Uh, Justin Townsend, of course, Fairfield football. Kevin Green, Salem football. Uh, I'm going to bring in, I believe, uh, the uh, Salem, uh, Krista Gillard, I believe, is the uh, Salem uh, volleyball coach. And uh, we'll have a whole bunch of folks probably try to get uh, Jessica Holloway here from uh, uh, Flora as well. Uh, all, but all kinds of sports coming up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Chat. I guess I, I needed to start with the coach of the team that had maybe the most success in the postseason of any of the teams we cover last year. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the lot. success. How far did Fairfield get last season? We got to the elite, the elite eight. Um, we sectional won the, champions won the sectional at um, Cumberland, which was crazy loaded. It was Edwards County, T Town, and Pena, and. Uh -huh. we, Got T Town in the first round and Pena in the championship and the Pena sectional game is the it's the most exciting game I've ever been involved in. It went really? three and it went to thirty to twenty eight. No kidding. And, and that um, was in the final set? Yeah. The and final and game, and I guess. We had had a ball that they were playing for the win and um we attacked it and it went up a block and was going to the bleachers and Payne had just started to celebrate. You can see it on video and Lexi ran it down and pulled it back in and we won. No kidding. And, oh, yeah, wow. We came back and won the match. So then we made it to the lead eight and played at, down at McLeansboro and that big gym was full. Really? And um, it was something for girls sports in Southern Illinois that was just amazing. And that was against Nashville, That was right? against Nashville, who we had already beaten earlier in the year. Yeah. And um, they beat us in three. So. All right, I, I've got to ask you, since uh, you always hear it's tough to beat a, a really good team twice or three times mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, and I, I've got some – we've got some of your, your players here. And we'll, I will probably mm -hmm. ask them a little bit later too. But I'm going to ask you, if since you had already beaten them, I'm certainly – You'll tell me that the coaches thought you went in knowing it was going to be tough. You didn't think mm -hmm. you had, this was going to be a walk. Oh, no. Is it tough to keep the kids from thinking that? No, they knew Nashville's a great opponent. Um, they know Nashville very well, and um, especially when you get into the super sectional game. I mean, yeah. you get a lot of emotions going. And Nobody's going to be a walk there. They're, they? they're very well coached. They're a very, very tough defensive team, and um, they got us. So. Yeah. Um, but the court, what was the final uh, number last season? It was 31 and 31 nine. 31 and 9. Let's, yeah. uh, I tell you what, we've got some pictures from last year. Let's uh, see what uh, we can show you. Now, this is after the sectional championship. This is after the sectional. This is um, after we beat Pena. That's the sectional trophy, or the first sectional trophy in um, volleyball history at Fairfield. So. Is that right? We, well, that's we, outstanding. I think I've got another picture of it. This is a little yeah. bit different picture. This we, we same let, place, isn't it? Same place. We let the fans in. So, And I wish that 
I didn't have one with all the fans, but we had a ton of fans there. So. There was a there was a shot in there. So okay, now here's the, here's, the one, this here, is the one that'll go on the wall. This is going on the wall. Tell yeah. me, tell me about this team. Now, now you had some. Uh, how many seniors did you lose off of this uh, team? We lost six wonderful seniors: Jessica Sims, Kenzie Kolak, Samantha Estes, now Samantha Rowe, uh-huh. um, Macy Clark, um, Kenzie Kolak, and we had one more: Gracie oh. Musgrave. Uh-huh. So, oh, they're all oh, they're in the middle. Yeah, and um, so we lost six seniors from that thirty-one and nine team. They set a school record. Um, they won a regional. They won the first sectional championship ever. Um, they won the conference. They won the Benton Invitational. So they, they, quite an accomplished group. And your assistant coach there is? Uh, Nikki Bassnett. She's, she's there behind me. Okay. And then on this one, actually, Yvette um, is – is photoshopped in on the right, but she's I was gonna not, say she's not there. She's I don't not see in that. this picture. So <laughs> I don't know. You don't know how we got how we got the unphotoshopped. Yeah, the unphotoshopped one. But on the one on the wall, <laughs> Yvette will be in it. And then Sabria, who looks like a player, is one of my assistant coaches. Yeah, Sabria, um, former player. Sabria of Phillips, yours. yep, former player. Uh, tell me the trophies down there. <clears throat> the trophies um, on the left is the Benton Invitational, and then the regional championship. And then the sectional championship, and then the Black Diamond Conference. Isn't that cool? The Black Diamond still does uh, footballs and basketballs yes, and, very, uh, very. and, and look, the large ball. I think they like stay, that. and they look really good late, you know, later in life, too. So. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you're, you're going to put that in a, in a cabinet. Mm-hmm. Well, it won't be in your office. It's going to be in, the, uh, in right. the trophy cabinet at the school. And it, it's going to get – it'll be there for – Ever and ever while yep. they still have the trophy cabinet. Yeah, right? tell the kids that when they come back, you're going to be able to – see those trophies there and we've we've got i think eight black diamond conference championships now so really come and you see all those it's pretty neat how long have you been at uh, fairfield uh 16 years this will 16 be my 16 years year. um the program was in pretty good shape when you got there right mm-hmm. uh, you replaced Marilyn, right nope tim tim okay tim pearson had been doing mm-hmm. it um <clears throat> How difficult is it? The, the program was in pretty good shape. You've been able to, to build it. And, and how difficult is it to keep a high school program that is already at a relatively high level? Mm-hmm. How difficult is it to, to maintain that? And, or, or, or what is the key to doing that? Well, there's a lot that goes into it. Your administration, you know, has to believe in you and take some, you know, chances on you. We. I wanted. I knew we needed to increase our summer play and competition, and we've done that. We host four summer tournaments that we brought in 24 teams, 16 teams, 16 teams, and 16 teams. And like Auburn come down. You did that this year. Staunton comes down. Yeah. Did you do that last Knox, year too? Massac. We've done it for 12 years now. All four? Well, no, not all four. Oh, okay. But the the last two years we've done four, and I'm not. Like this summer at one tournament, we got to play Massac County, Sioux Straw, Staunton, Nashville. Big and, teams and really good small teams. And Newton, teams. you know. So yeah. we get to play, go, you know, go right through. You know, I'm going to have five tough matches in one day. And um, that you got to build your program from the grassroots up. And, you know, we, we've started doing that now. When I started coaching, not too many kids played club, you know. Mm-hmm. And volleyball is different than softball and basketball because – Kids play softball and basketball really early. You know, you, they play upwards sure. basketball when they're in kindergarten, yeah. and you play upwards t- up through eighth grade, and then t- your seventh grade t-ball, t-ball softball. But a lot of times, kids aren't getting a volleyball in their hands until junior high. Uh-huh. You know, and we had to change that culture to get. You know, so a, do the a grade schools? Uh, are the grade schools helping out? Do they have? Oh, uh, the I mean, do they do they start volleyball programs earlier now? Center Street dropped it down to sixth grade now, which uh-huh. has helped a lot, and um, no. Jasper and Jeff and New Hope, they can go, I think they go down to fifth or fourth grade, which, which, you know, helps a lot. But our camp, our summer camp, you know, and now we have um, some local clubs that kids are playing in. And How, it, you, you mentioned club. I tell you what, let's do. We'll take a short break and, and then we'll come back. I want to, I want to know how, uh, how the club, the club setting has changed since you've been. Not in not a, not a just Fairfield, but the volleyball throughout the right. entire uh, state. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on the Wabash Catch TV. My guest is Chet Snyder, and uh, we've also got uh, some the uh, Jacqueline Sims and uh, Lexi Hobbs, and we're going to have the, those ladies in here in just a moment. We'll be right back after these. Do stick around. 
Dead mics. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. I'm Christine, and I used to smoke. My tip is, when you hear the words oral cancer, think about more than just your mouth. The skin grafts and reconstructive surgery can really leave a mark on your arm, your shoulder, and your neck. Not to mention what it can do to your face. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Morning, folks. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Uh, my guest is Chet Snyder of uh, Fairfield High School Volleyball, and uh, we'll also be joined by Lexi Hobbs here in a second and Jacqueline Sims, a couple of seniors on this year's uh, Fairfield Lady Mules Volleyball team as uh, we were talking about all kinds of things. Uh, tell me the uh, the club, how the club volleyball has changed. That costs a lot of money for the kids, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's just like travel sports with anything. It's you have, you know, dance and cheer travel that's big now. You have yeah. softball that you know we have teams that are traveling. Um, basketball, you have AAU, and then yeah. volleyball. There's three different ones. There's USVA, there's AAU, and there's JVA. Okay, and um, the, it's just the last ten years, club volleyball has just exploded. Is one better than the other? Or are they about the same? The USVA is the largest one. And um, but they can you can play in others tournaments. You just can't play in others like postseason tournaments. Oh, I see. You have to be a member. Like if you want to go to the AAU nationals, uh -huh. you have to be a member of the AAU. Or if you want to go to the USVA nationals, you got to be a member of the USVA. Okay, your squad. We've uh, already shown the pictures. Consists of about mm -hmm. uh, like ten or twelve, uh, ten or twelve girls, right? Mm -hmm. How many of those uh, would have played club volleyball in two thousand eighteen versus how many would have been playing club volleyball? when you started in 2002 
2005. In 2002, none. None? None. Yeah, there, and there's just one opportunity. You'd have to go to St. Louis, you know. Well, who wants to spend the money and take your kid to, you know, St. Louis to... That's what they do now, though. Uh-huh. I mean, people are playing club and yeah, traveling so, baseball to St. Louis and all kinds of stuff. They do. certain. I mean, yeah, they do, but... We How, have, we but have there some, are closer clubs now. There are closer clubs now. Oh, I yeah. See. How many of the twelve are playing club volleyball now? Um, I would say the majority of them. Is do. that right? Yep. And they're still playing. You have kids, you know, still playing basketball and softball. And you know, Jacqueline's our best track girl at the high school. She's yeah. been to state the last two years. Yeah. Lexi's our best softball player. Um, so. It, at small schools, you still need kids to be multi-sport athletes. You have to. Well, you know, and that's, colleges want to recruit multi-sport athletes. You know, that's the thing. You see, about five or ten years ago, we saw the the there was a prevalence of people who would train in just one sport, mm-hmm. and that it, the colleges have kind of rejected that, haven't right. they? They want a well-rounded athlete who's been, you know, put time in in different sports, and you know, a complete athlete and. So, and at Fairfield, schools like Fairfield, Flora, Carmine, you need your better athletes to compete in, you know, as many sports as they can. So, hmm. All right. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about the summer training. Yeah, so, you guys basically take the summer off. You don't do much. You just kind of goof off and sit no, around the pool and all summer long. That's another thing that's changed tremendously. You know, back when we started, we would have a few open gyms, and that would be it. And now, I mean, yeah, the, the, the uh, girls would come in and and just dink around and uh, play for dink around. That's like what that. I'm saying. <laughs> dink around. <laughs> I'm just asking. That's not what it was. No. <laughs> I don't know. No. You tell me. I'm, no. I'm talking about 12 years ago or 14 oh. years ago. Actually, um, I'm re- they, I'm remembering from when my sister played. Okay. My sister played volleyball back in like 1980 or 82. Mm-hmm. Or, they just go in and dink around. They weren't doing a whole lot. Uh, they these girls do a whole lot. Okay. Um, they're pretty exciting. Um, we we host four uh, major tournaments in Southern Illinois. One has really? 24 kids, uh, 24 oh teams. And the other three have 16 teams. Like tomorrow's our JV one, and um, we have 16 teams in it. We'll put a freshman team in it, and we'll put a sophomore team in it. That's, 70, right now, that's 72 teams total. How many yeah. different schools do you think are bringing teams? If you Well, do? they can come to three tournaments. Really? Like three of the tournaments. So, you know, Nashville, Edwards County, Carmi, Hamilton County, Massac so, County. So you come to three tournaments. But then we have schools like Staunton, um, Auburn, really? Um, North Knox, Indiana, um, you know, Sioux Straw, Paris. Is is Fairfield developing the repula- reputation as a uh, as a place to go for tournament for summer stuff? Yeah, for summer stuff. Yeah, and we we do a I think we do a good job of putting on summer tournaments. And do you um, go to other tournaments? I mean, with four or how many are you? How many is your team able to go to? That we go to like some of my friends. I want to return the favor and go yeah. to theirs too. And um, we we're going to go to a couple big ones here. After our mule matches, we're going to go to Springfield this weekend to Lincoln oh, okay. Land and see some good competition from up north. And um, then we're going to go to Jackson, Missouri um, the next week. When you talk about up north competition, tell me a little bit about – tell me a little bit. Now, you're still going to be Class 2A, right? Correct. The, the classes have, have changed. Yes. But, but yeah. you, how, how will that affect – it will affect us a lot. I was going to say, how does that affect you? Because you'll be Salem will be two A. Salem well. will be two A. Only is only going to be two A. They're going to no, be only still three A. Oh, okay, um, but all the river to river schools except Heron come back to two A. So Murfreesboro, Massac County, Benton, and then the big kicker though is over the Metro East area. You yeah, know, you get Columbia. Breeze Central, Breeze Modern Day, and Freeburg teams that are playing in the Cahokia and Conference, those, playing in a in the in the loaded Cahokia Conference. Yeah, those four teams are on a different level, you know. And um, we hopefully would not have to see a Breeze until the Super Sectionals. Yeah, um, but. You know, a team like Nashville, they're really close to Breeze. So that changes. I like, I like how you put that, a Breeze, because it could be modern day or central. It, either one. It, it could be either one. Yeah. Um, Breeze Central, they have a 6'5 Nebraska recruit, you know, and um, Breeze modern day is just, they're dropping down from just two years ago. They were in 4A because they were so successful. They were ranked in the nation. So now to drop back down to 2A volleyball, it's a, it's a, 
What did you think when you when you saw the uh, when you saw the IHSA making that change? I mean, really? That's what I thought. Really? Are you kidding? <laughs> Like, we're, we're, we finally win a sectional, and we're going to be good for the next few years. And yeah, now, you like are, you, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> could it just not have been a couple more years? But I, our girls are preparing You're to play, play for anybody, anybody here. and we we love. We've had a very successful summer. Yesterday at our mule mash, I had them broke up into two even teams, and we had sixteen teams there, and both of our teams advanced to the championship. So, oh, that's good. The, the our kids are. They're they're ready to play tough competition. Um, we were talking uh, off. Uh, uh, we were talking off the air about how uh, um, how you're going to these tournaments, how you pay to to go to these tournaments. It's it's through participation at these local tournaments, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, our our hosting. I learned I learned early on that it costs a lot to do stuff. You know, yeah. and you used to, when I played when I went to camp. You know, was a basketball player at Martinsville. We had to pay like three hundred dollars. Right. You know. Well, parents don't want to do that today, especially if you have two kids. Yeah, it was two hundred when I was playing. So, we we raise our money through our tournaments, you know. And I employ a lot of my former players to ref and stuff, and then that gives them some summer job source. Our summer tournaments do it. I think they're good for Fairfield, you know. They right. bring in when you're bringing in twenty four teams one day, you know, they're going to Walmart and they're going to Taco Tierra and they're going to McDonald's, so. Well, that's pretty good. I, well, I tell you what, uh, that's that's uh, th- those tournaments are really good, and, and they must help your squad because you want a sectional. Yeah, they they our kids are really. We have thirty eight kids out this summer, which I'm excited about and terrified about. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk roster, and we're also going to get Lexi and Jacqueline on here. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest is Chet Snyder for Fairfield Volleyball, and we're going to come back. We're going to talk about uh, talk a little bit more about uh, the Mule, Lady Mule Volleyball back after these. Do stick around. I'm Brian. You probably know someone who's had a heart attack, COPD, or a heart bypass operation. You might even know someone who's had a heart transplant, lung cancer, or part of their lung removed. But what about someone who's had all six? Now you do. My tip is, if smoking doesn't get you one way, it'll get you another. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry, Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Microphones. Morning, folks. Welcome back to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. As promised, we've got uh, sectional champions here. How you doing, girls? Good. Good. Introduce yourselves. I'm Lexi Hobbs. And I'm Jacqueline Sims. You know, it could be a little <laughs> bit more open. Uh, uh, what, how old are you? What year? We're seniors. I'm 16. Mm-hmm. I'm 17. You're 16 and you're a senior? How is that possible? Um, Late August, birthday. August uh, I was. I was the same way. September birthday. So yeah, I was. I was. Seven, I didn't turn seventeen till like the fourth week of football season. So that's cool. Uh, all right. How long have uh, you girls been playing volleyball? Since about fifth grade yep, for, me. Same for me. Yeah. Okay. Now you ha- had uh, when you uh, were in fifth grade. Were you in Fairfield yet, or no. were you still? Where were you living? Then? I was in Fort Branch, Indiana. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what the do you and is volleyball your favorite sport? Or is that the yes. only sport you play, or what? No, I play softball too. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was saying that you play some softball. What do you play on the diamond? Center field. Okay, you play in center field on softball. Uh-huh. In softball, what's your position in uh, volleyball? I'm a libero. So. You're the libero. Okay, and I, I'm, I'm glad you are here because <laughs> because Chet and I have had this conversation over the past years. I don't know how to say the word libero. Well, it's <laughs> actually pronounced libero. But yeah, th- that's the thing. So in you're, Southern Illinois, nobody wants to say that. So <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's what I've always thought. I've, I've always kind of said libero and uh, and uh, like Camaro sounds like. See now that's cool. Well, sounds like Camaro mm-hmm. as opposed to Libero. I, I, it's, I've got nothing like cool. Go to, go to KZ, Illinois and say Casey. You know, it's mm-hmm. not Casey. It's KZ. Well, that's <laughs> right. You know, That's exactly right. Well, yeah, you're from up there, so yeah. you know that. Uh, okay, so you're a uh, you're not the tallest player on the team. Uh, um, one of the shortest ones. How tall are you? 5'3". Um, so this libero position is just perfect for you. Why is exactly. why is the libero perfect for you? Um, liberos are usually quicker, and I don't know. There's I've got I've of... got proof here that you can jump. The, 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 uh... I can jump. I'm sure. But... <laughs> well, there's Jacqueline in that shot too, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. So how did how did you uh, get the uh, get stuck playing the libero then it just did well, she looks to chet she gave she just gave chet the side eye well, like, you don't want me up there killing the ball like uh, jacqueline and all that kind of stuff well up through middle school i was actually a setter but uh-huh. when i got to high school like um how i was going to be able to play as a freshman was kind of in the back row is what we needed mm-hmm. so then i just kind of and you realized you may not be growing a ton taller. Yeah, yeah. And so whenever that happened, you well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, what's your, what's the best part of your game? What do you uh, are you most uh, are you most uh, proud of how you serve? Are you most proud of how you set? Are you most proud of how you go get digs? He already bragged on you going Digging. to get that I'm, dig. My defense is my thing. Your defense so, is yeah. your thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Every team kind of has to have a defensive stalwart, don't they? Yep. Well, that, that's outstanding. Um, are you going to uh, going to try to go play somewhere? Yeah, I'm committed to John A. Logan. So. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's coach down there? Um, Bill Burnside is his name, okay. and then their assistant coach played at SIU. So. All right, I got to ask, uh, and, and I'll ask Jacqueline the same question. I probably won't. It's because I'm doing it for a joke. Uh, I've got I got to ask: or Do they uh, uh, do they take you down there and uh, go out uh, with all the other players to the oh, to yeah. the uh, to yep. the bars and stuff and all. Oh that. no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> I went down and practiced with them and oh, okay. lifted and yeah. So well, those uh, that, that's good. They uh, they uh, how uh, a good group of kids. Oh yeah. Are you uh, John A's a two eight a two year school? Yes. Are you thinking about uh, going longer than that too? Yes, I hope so. All right. Uh, well, Jacqueline, tell me, uh, how did you get started playing volleyball? Your older sister played too, right? Yes, my sister, but. My freshman year, I wasn't good. I didn't know what I was going to be. I switched positions. I started middle, then I went right side. Now I'm an outside hitter. Did you have the idea whenever, um, 
whenever you were a freshman that you were going to outside hitters have to be some have to have some pretty good height because yes. you're blocking all the time too, right? Yes. Did you have any idea that you were going to be relatively tall? Not really. I mean, my dad's tall, but I was not a tall freshman. Me and Lexi started around the same height in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, you didn't go to New Hope, though, like yeah. she did. Oh, did you? Right. Okay. I all throughout grade school, I went to New Hope. Okay. I, I don't pay attention, <laughs> I guess. Go ahead. Uh, so, so you get there, you get that. How much different is it than to, uh, like in practice, working to be an outside hitter as opposed to working to be a, a back line or a defensive specialist like, uh, like Lexi? It's it's different. It's it's a lot different. Really? All right. Now, uh, uh, what what do you spend your time working on during practice? Then do you, do you have somebody sitting there bumping you uh, spikes all the time, or, or do you have? <laughs> I, 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 I love Bruce's technology. <laughs> I mean, terms of volleyball. Set, yeah. Setting you, setting you all the time. Uh -huh. I, I, see, I am so glad. Last year, I broadcast my first volleyball game. I uh -huh. I, I, I had never broadcast volleyball. I'm so glad to do it, and and uh, it's such a fun, exciting sport. Mm -hmm. Except they sound so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, so what? Uh, so you're ba basically you're practicing spikes the whole time, or are you uh, practicing we run, blocking, we run or what? Different drills. We scrimmage, which is my favorite. I like to scrimmage, mm -hmm. and we just do hitting lines, and that's about summer stuff. Okay. Um, okay. So, so now you are a senior. The, the, the you've lost six seniors from last year's squad. Oh, I didn't ask. Where do you plan on going to school? Somewhere to play, or yes, where do you? I'm but you haven't. Sure has uh, have all the coaches been calling you? Uh, I've had Chris a lot. Thomas and that kind of. See now that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Chris Thomas start calling. Um, I have uh, track coaches. Well, yeah. Tell us. Tell us about track. I am a two year uh, state finalist in high jump, and I have. Wow. Yeah, Pretty. How high do you jump? Well, my highest is 5'3". I got that at state last year, not this year. Okay. I got 5'2 this year. How about that? That's got, really good. I got, I forgot what place I got. I got fifth place mm -hmm. at state <laughs> last year, and then I got 16th this year. Not as good, but. Well, it, you just like you said, you didn't get as high as you mm -hmm. got yeah. last year. The, 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 it was rainy. Let's, mm -hmm. let's, it was, it was a, a ugly day at state. Yeah. Um, uh, do you work more on the track, or do you work more for volleyball? Volleyball, and and actually the the uh, the workouts for volleyball probably are they do they help you for track? You yes. think? Mm -hmm. I sat out a season. I didn't do basketball this year, so that's what got me for track this year. I, I wasn't in shape, but volleyball is my sport. Wait a minute. You sat out basketball late, late around and ate bonbons or something? Is that what you're yes. telling me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really what you did? Yep. Oh, good for you. I see that you were. I don't blame you, Jacqueline. You're a sectional champion. You, <laughs> you, 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 you wanted to rest on your laurels a little bit. Enjoy it is what you wanted to do, yep. I guess. That, well, I can, I can, I can see that to an extent. See, but now are you playing basketball? Are you planning to play basketball? Um, I made the cheer team. As you made the cheer team. Yes. So you won't be playing uh, for football and cheer and no, basketball or both. Basketball season. Okay. So well, that's cool. Last and time I cheered was in eighth grade. Your sister was a cheerleader yes. too, right? She's going to college for cheerleading. That's what I thought. Uh, where's she going? She's going to St. Charles. She got transferred from the other Lindenwood. Because, oh, I see. Yeah. Her cheer team. She wanted was at the other one. Okay. Back to high jump, and then we'll get to we'll get back to volleyball with the girls here. <laughs> I, I promise, I promise, we're going to get to volleyball. Uh, back to high jump. You said five three is your personal record. PR is five three. Um, any chance to uh, get to uh, Sherry Taylor's record? Does Sherry still have the record? Yes, it, it has been my. Uh, That'd be your been goal. My goal. But it's, it's a five six. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Is it five six? <laughs> uh, it might I, be I, even five seven, but. I was, yeah, I think I was there whenever she did that. That's how that's how old the record is. Let me yeah. tell you, it, yeah. it was uh, it was while I was in high school or the year after I got out of high school. Uh, Eighty five, I think, was the record, right? You probably see. Uh, she had, speaking of tattoo day, National Tattoo Day. You probably have that tattooed on your arm, ready to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good. So now, uh, Chet, you must like, we've already talked a little bit about it, but but you must like that she's going to play basketball again this year, huh? Well, she's cheering. cheering. Oh, cheering. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, yeah, she's doing it. an activity. In I the love it that she's, you know, going to be doing something and rather than sitting out and eating Pringles because <laughs> it's not bonbons with her. It's Pringles. So The barbecue or regular? 
Salt and vinegar. Salt and salt vinegar. Salt vinegar. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I That's what I was that. eating to the day mm-hmm. I got my nickname. What's What's your nickname? Pringle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you have a nickname? No. Nope. You got to give Lexi a Hobbs. nickname. Yeah, Hobbs. Hobbs. Well, yeah, Hobbs. That, that's, Hobbs. It's easy to yell. <laughs> that's kind of what I was yeah. wondering. Uh, uh, it, uh, your first name is Damn It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. There's a joke. It was well, that's not Jacqueline. <laughs> that's, it's Jacqueline. Uh, darn, it. darn it, Pringles. Darn it. <laughs> Putting words in Chet's mouth. He probably never says that at all. Probably he just, not. He just thinks it. What? <laughs> uh, I, I didn't take it very well. Well, that's well, that's fine. We'll 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 get the the crying towel out here during the break and, and get you all set up. Hey, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I've got uh, Chet Snyder here, Lexi Hobbs, and Jacqueline Sims. We're talking Fairfield Volleyball. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about the rest of the conference and the other uh, the other competition in Southern Illinois. Do please stick around. Back after these. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton Building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. I'm Christine and I used to smoke. My tip is when you hear the words oral cancer, think about more than just your mouth. The skin grafts and reconstructive surgery can really leave a mark on your arm, your shoulder, and your neck. Not to mention what it can do to your face. Morning, folks. Welcome back. Big talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. We were talking Fairfield High School volleyball last year. They won the sectional, coming off of uh, a, an outstanding season and hoping for uh, to keep that success moving forward down there on the end. It is head coach Chet Snyder right here in the middle is Libero Libero. <laughs> libero, would you prefer me to say libero? No, libero. Uh, well, yeah. I'm gonna say find me a fun word to rhyme with libero and uh, libero. I mean Marlboro or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that's uh, Lexi Hobbs is the libero, and uh, here's Jacqueline Sims. She's a, uh, a outside hitter for the uh, for the squad, and uh, we've been talking about all kinds of different things. The conference ha- in the Black Diamond East. Mm-hmm. It's been pretty good over the last few years, hasn't it? Yeah, and it continues to remain pretty good, right? Yeah, it's been really solid at the top with EC, Hamilton County, Carmine, us. Those four have battled 
night in, night out. Um, you kind of expect that again this year, Chet? Um, I think I think no. mm -mm. you don't. No. No what? I don't think they're good. I don't think it's not going to be as strong as last yeah. year. I don't think. That's good. what girls are not supposed to say. <laughs> there like, we go. The I, bulletin board. I, 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 I think the tournaments we go to will be huh? the tournaments we go to will be really strong. I see. But. Okay. Okay. Well, let, let me let me find a different way. Let me extricate us here, uh, mm -hmm. Jet. Let's see how we can do this. Okay. The other, uh, you say that Fairfield is still on an upswing. Maybe the other teams lost more seniors, mm -hmm. and, and they're they're going to be maybe uh, uh, having to rebuild a little bit. Well, Edwards County about? had that senior class come through with Maddie Howe and yeah. um, Shayla Potts Trier. and Michaela Trier. I mean, they won in everything. They won softball, they won in basketball, they won in volleyball. They were just extremely talented. So that class is going to. Um, hit EC hard. Yeah. Um, Hamilton County lost one of their best players of all time in Kaylee Dodson. But they're, as long as Jason Hall is at McLeansboro, McLeansboro is going to be a solid team. Yeah. And um, they, they've got some really good athletes and they won in softball. And they've, McLeansboro has an outstanding freshman class coming in. Really? Yeah. Um, they won state in girls' basketball. They finished second in state, I think, in softball. Or they won, they state, won in state in softball. Yeah. They won state in softball, and they went to state in volleyball. Do you guys so. pay attention to uh, the, the opponents and what they have and do not have? Or I mean, how how deep into scouting do you do? Do you go? Lexi well, um, stalks that was other cool. teams. <laughs> other teams. That's kind of what I was wondering. Yeah, Lexi, are you are you keeping an eye on uh, on what everybody else well, has got kinda, going on? Yeah, you just kind of know the players, like the good players. I yeah. mean, it's just like we're, we live in a small town, and in Southern Illinois, you just kind of know the good players. And do you fraternize with any of these people? Do you do you chat and or talk oh, yeah. and friends? Are you friends with them uh, from oh, time yeah. to time? And I play a lot of club ball with them too. Oh, okay. Where do you play club ball? Well, I played for high end, or I mean. Um, Blue Blaze this year. I used to play for High Impact, but yeah. Do you play uh, club ball? I've played Blue Blaze and Extreme. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Chet was saying some nice things about you during the break. Uh, tell them, uh, Jacqueline is a tremendously improved, huh? Jacqueline, when she came in as a freshman, um, you know, you can kind of get an idea of if a kid can make it or if they've got potential or whatever. And she wasn't really on the radar mm -hmm. because really? she was about 5'4". Yeah. And um, her attention span was not very good, and she wasn't a very good <laughs> she wasn't a very good teammate. And um, her sophomore year, she took a little jump, and then her junior year, she she went from you know just she I think we gave her varsity uniform her sophomore year to her junior year. Here she is, all conference, all South. Jacqueline was at the uh, motivation of getting that varsity uniform, or what do you, what do you think turned it around for you? Do you know? I was really mad my freshman year when I didn't get it handed to me. So, mm -hmm. no kidding. I wanted it. So it was basically the motivation of not getting the jersey. Mm -hmm. oh, and she, I mean, she—it's her choice. She worked that hard. You know, we we talk about team culture. You know, and doing this 16 years now, Anita Pond gave me some really valuable information a long time ago. Where um, she said, "Don't put up with it." Really. And I took that into my coaching. Like, we—if you're going to do things our way, whether it's right or wrong. Or you're not going to be a part, you know. And Jacqueline has bought into Lady Mule culture, and um, she's become a good teammate. And she's what is the what, what is the definition of not a good teammate? Would it, I mean just not not setting, not sharing the ball nearly as much, um, not 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 diving for the for for. I think it's not buying something? into culture. You know, really? our, our, our motto our motto last year was everybody in. Our motto this year is we over me, and it's we've got a lot of talented players, but. It's I like your about, logo, by the it's way. It's still about the Lady Mules, you know. Yeah. And um, being a good teammate is not that hard, you know. And selfishness is running rampant in our world today. Yeah. And hopefully we can teach kids to not be selfish, to care. You know, hey, we go to this all-tournament team, and Lexi doesn't make the all-tournament team. Jacqueline makes it, you know. Naughty Everybody makes ought it. to be happy for and it. We want to be like last year when we won the Benton Invitational Tournament. Samantha might have had the best tournament of anyone, and she didn't make the alternate team. And still, those she media, said, oh, that media, I tell you what, those guys don't know how to, right. they don't know squat. Right, and I actually, I'll admit, <laughs> I, I vote for those things. Uh -huh. Well, not in the, not volleyball, but. Yeah. But, you know, it's, we're, we, we got, you know, five or six girls that. Or all conference caliber girls that probably you know someone's probably not going to make it. Can we still 
have good team culture because of stuff like that. I've got some girls this year that may not dress varsity that in years past would have been a starter for me. Is that right? And um, Tell me a little bit about the, the squad. Uh, how tall are you, Jacqueline? I am 5'11 and a half. Are you the tallest on the pl uh, player on the team? Um, I have someone uh, just about the same height as me. Okay, tell me a little bit about the roster. Um, how many well, seniors do you have? We have this three year, seniors. Um, these, these two. These two, and then Nadia Reed. Um, and then we have nine juniors. Nine juniors? Which is, yeah. That's that, a lot. That's a lot. And um, we have Kylie Stewart, who is an all South setter as a sophomore. Okay. Um, she's just, Kylie's a tremendous competitor. Mm -hmm. She's someone you want on your team because she's going to give everything she has all the time. Colby Sutton started for us last year on the back row. She was the JV's libero, and she's an outstanding defender. Um, really, really good server. Um, you didn't name any of the juniors, by the way. I don't want you to leave anybody these out. These are the juniors. Oh, the, I thought you were talking about sophomores. Well, okay. I may still call them sophomores. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> transferred over in my okay. head. That, but this is a junior class. Leah Bowers, uh -huh. um, Callie Vaughn, Lauren Eckleberry, Mikhail Snyder, Chloe Britton, Aubrey Spicer, Lauren, did I say Lauren Eckleberry? Yeah. I did. Who am I forgetting? If he, if he, Callie. Callie, said, he said, said Callie. Callie. I wasn't counting. So, I'm sorry. I wouldn't count either, but I don't want to leave anybody <laughs> but out. But had to come in in the middle of the season when Sam got hurt. Yeah. yeah she did an and excellent job, too. Leah was a sophomore last year. She's a, a good basketball player for us at FCHS. And Samantha tore her ACL oh, really? last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and she was out for the rest of the year. Out then. for the rest right. of the year. She had to serve one time and, for senior night. And yeah. Leah, I remember. I think we were there that night. Leah came in and then started in. You think, wow, what a loss that was for us. But it gave Leah tremendous experience for this year so and she she got, had two college coaches talking to her yesterday how about so. that Th uh, there's a good point there's a good question now how you you being the head coach you're the pay basically you're the person that the the you're the uh, interaction point for the team th for college for college coaches has that changed quite a bit in the last 10 years it has um because early on we you know i think we've sent like 21 girls to play college volleyball in 16 years, which I think is a good number. Yeah. Um, but now, like, all three of my seniors are being recruited. You know, several of our juniors are being recruited. Um, it's you're, – you're talking to college coaches a lot. And hosting our tournaments, like, we had six college coaches there yesterday looking at oh, different really? teams. So those summer tournaments are a great way. People think, oh – it's too you, hot. Nobody's going to go to those. You just get recruited during club. Well, that's bull. That if you're good, they're going to come find you. And it doesn't matter if it's your, you know, high school season team or your yeah. a summer tournament. They're, they're going to find you. Uh, Lexi, you've already signed. What did you think of the recruiting process? Was it fun? Did you enjoy it? Well, it was really stressful, but it was a good experience. So. Really? Mm -hmm. You do it again? Yeah. And you're helping. Are you helping Jacqueline with her? <laughs> Are you giving her tips on how to deal with recruiters, I guess? Um, I guess. She needs any, <laughs> she needs any help. I'm always here. <laughs> Season starts when? This, we are hosting a tournament at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's a new tournament. So we're going to have our meal kick, kickoff tournament uh -huh. at the beginning of the year. Um, the last Saturday in August. Last Saturday in August. So get mm -hmm. to FCHS. Get down there, and uh, it'll probably be cool by there in the gymnasium. I would think it'll. <laughs> we actually may move it to Center Street. Uh, Center Street's air conditioned. Yeah. So how big is the tournament? How many teams? There's got? eight teams in that one. Um, North City is outstanding. They'll be there. Try to get there, folks. I'm running out of time. Okay. Chat, thanks very much for Thank being here. Thank you very much. Lexi, thanks so much for coming. Jacqueline, great to see you. Great to meet you all. Or great to see you uh, chat again. Hey, folks, thanks very much for watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll see you all next time. Have a great day.